Hey, what's going on guys? Pods here and we're back again with another video to show you guys and today uh, some of you asked me where to farm if you already reach level 130. It is simply because they have a uh, or you have a concern on the harpy. Uh, if you didn't reach level 130, this is the best uh, monster that you can farm it has a lot of zany in it it's because due to the large portion of an area that they spawn so since this is only level 119 you're going to have a penalty of 20 percent uh, drop rate reduction right if you're familiar with the uh, level cap and uh, instead of 100 percent you will now have a 80 percent drop rate if you're still going to farm in this harpy but uh, don't get me wrong guys you can still have a lot of money if you if you have a party and you guys are doing the group hunting the zenny is still much higher if you do that but for those who are grinding alone well i don't worry it's because i got you guys there is a total of four spot that I can recommend to you guys. So uh, this is the first one. This is on the magma dungeon, and then in here. All right. So all you need to do is uh, check this fire fetchling. There you go. So it is a brute monster, a medium, and then a fire attribute. All right. And then it drops. Uh, burning hair and then that's it and then uh, Madugair fuel as you can see and uh, don't underestimate that guys it's because you can sell that with uh, 50 per uh, 50 per fuel as you can see in here so if you have 100 then you will have a uh, 5k 1000 50k and then 10,000 that's 500k so don't underestimate that one it's because it is a uh, money so what you need in here is a card for fire you can always use this one all right and then i can always use this one also for range damage as you can see there you go and then fire i have a uh, yeah damage to fire monster i can always use this one also and then brute monster all right card and lay on my in here fairy in battle there you go so i think we're good to go and then uh i think this is good all right so I think we're good to go even if I don't use a uh oh wait we need to stay alert yeah but uh, if you don't have enough damage you can use a water element booster as you can see in here I don't even use a uh, buff so let's take a minute and observe how much zenny we can get in here as you can see there you go all you need to do is stay alert all right it's because if you don't if you don't use the stay alert you will end up in this area in this upper corner so we don't want that one it's because there's only a uh, few fire fledgling that will spawn in that area all right all we need is this spot particularly all right so we're here on the second spot that i recommend it's on the hamelin and we are going to aim the dulahan and then the lud so let's check first the dulahan and the lud all right so here's the dulahan it is an undead one undead race double undead and uh, if you're not familiar what is the weakness of the undead monster well it is fire 
Alright, so it is weak against fire and we can farm a rotting rope in here which is nice. So since I don't have a medium card and I don't have a undead card, uh, all I have is this archer skeleton card so that means I'm going to use that one and then I also don't have this particular card. This is a nice card for undead. Uh, where is it? This one. The loot card. Damage on undead monster. So since I don't have this one, uh, that's unfortunate. Alright, but I think we can still one hit this monster. If we... How about... I'm going to use a... Satisfied feast, alright. And then of course fire. There we go. Let's see. Oh, so we can still one hit the monster. There you go. Let's just observe first. So in here you can get a green slime from loot as you can see cost 200 and then rotting row from dulahan all right 220 in terms of the dish guys it the one that has a movement speed in it like this one regional will fish take Alright, so we're here now on the third spot that I will recommend. It's on the homunculus uh, basement first floor. Let's check first what are we dealing here. So we're going to farm the removal. It is the undead monster. A medium one. And you can loot a moldy gold coins which is a expensive one. So that's why we're going to aim that one also. And then the dark merchant so it is a uh, earth monster and a fire attribute is going to be good also with this one so we have a two mobs that is weak against fire that's nice and this is a demi human a medium one and then you can get a iron ore in it all right so that's it and uh, I think we need to get the Dark Thief also so that we're going to stay in this particular area. Dark Thief is a poison attribute mob so that's why we are going to use a uh, this one centipede card. It helps with there you go damage to poison and then what else this anaconda card uh damage to poison monster plus 15 percent so we are going to use this one on our fib and uh, i think we're good to go oh i forgot the hydra card there you go change this into hydra card and we're good to go right so fire fire element for the removal and the dark merchant and then the rest is the for the dark thief let's aim the removal the dark thief and then the dark merchant there you go as you can see we can one hit the dark merchant and then the removal but the dark thief we cannot do that but we can at least still a two hit blow so that's nice all right so let's observe our uh, loot let me show you how much is the small the gold coins so as you can see it is 2.5 and then semiconductor Uh, it's 200 well we can always sell this one in the uh shop for 20 24 a piece so that's not bad at all 
And then this one, iron ore. 24 a piece also. That's not bad at all. If you're going to have a problem on selling this one on the market, a shop is a secondary solution. Right? Alright, so we're here on the last spot that I'm going to recommend. So it has a uh, dark archer, it has a dark swordsman, and uh, a dark acolyte. So let's check first what is their weakness. Light Halzen, and then there you go. So it is a wind property, the dark archer. How about the Dark Acolyte? A Holy Property. Demi Human also. And then the Dark Mage. Oh, it's a Ghost Property. And then it's a uh, Demi Human also. Alright, so we can loot a Chemical Gas. And then Semiconductor. Don't forget guys, this card, particular card, is a uh, bit expensive. So it is worth it if you can loot this one. And then uh, about the Dark Acolyte, Chemical Gas Cylinder also. And uh, I think that's it. Oh, there is no Dark Gas uh, Mage in here. So since there is no Dark Mage, uh, it is the Dark swordsman so it's a fire team human also and then you can loot a great nature from him and then iron ore all right so let's do this one the best way to farm this is to use a uh, neutral neutral property and then well we don't have a uh, fire uh, against fire, we can use this one for the swordsman. Alright, and uh, I think that's it. That's the only card that we have that we can use. This one is for our offhand also, so we can't do that. And uh, that's it. We're good to go. Dark Archer, Dark Swordsman, and then Dark Acolyte. So we are hitting around 280 and that's not bad at all. At least we can 2 hit. The best way in here is if you can 1 hit them. Alright, so if you can 1 hit them, that's the nice scenario that we can have if we are grinding in here, alright? So let's observe first. Alright, so that's it. Thank you so much for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something from this. If you do, please hit the like button. And if you want my future content, please do subscribe. Until then, see ya in the next one. Bye guys!